hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 17 beta 2 update on my iphone 10r so as you can see this is an iphone 10r and today morning i received this ios 17 beta 2 on my iphone 10r so from the screenshot itself as you can see it came in about 1.13 gigabytes on my iphone 10r and for all the devices mostly it would be between 1 to 1.5 gigabyte so in this video let's talk about what's new with ios 17 beta Beta 2 there are of course some new features and changes and also some of the issues that Apple has resolved with iOS 17 beta 2 so make sure you watch this video till the end so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first if i go to the settings general and about section as you can see the ios version again is ios 17 of course and if i tap on it the new build number is 21a5268h and also it gives you a brief description about this new version as well as you know if you want more information it tells you to go to the beta.apple.com as well as you know since this is a developer's beta it also you know suggest you to check out the more information on developer.apple.com so the very first thing that i have noticed with ios 17 beta 2 so how the updates are being presented so earlier we had this you know plain old uh, update text and you know you want to install the update or things like that but if you look at the image it it, it is like now refreshed i would say so you have the bold option here to you know click on update now or update tonight and also it gives you the same information what i have shown you just before on the update page so it gives you the information about the update and also where you can find more information about the update so this is the very first change that i wanted to mention so the way the update page gets presented to the user it has been completely changed so the next thing i wanted to mention there is a new modem firmware update so if you are using iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, there will be a new modem firmware update. But even with this, you know, if I go to this iPhone 10R, as you can see, the modem firmware has been updated to 5.50.03 from 5.50. Now I had taken a screenshot. Let me see whether I can find that. As you can see, before updating, it was on 5.50. And after updating, it has become 5.50.03. So the update took about, you know, you know, 15 to 20 odd minutes to install on this iphone 10r so it was a pretty big update and it took time to install and one thing i wanted to highlight here so while updating so the phone was pretty much heated so i could feel the heat around the back of the device and it was pretty much heated and you know when the device was started the phone was a bit stuttery and in you know, all the pages were not loading properly even the apps were crashing and that too it was it continued for about two to three minutes i think there were a lot of tasks happens in the background once you update your phone and once the update finishes it takes about you know five to seven odd minutes to get everything ready at least for you to finish the update so that's all have been happening so i just wanted to highlight that now let's talk about some of the new features so the thing i wanted to mention here if you go to your phone and if you go to the recent contacts you can see that this contacts the space between the contacts have again been increased so you know it's a bit difficult to uh, see but if you look closely you can see that the space between the contacts have been increased so that's a new change that i noticed with ios 17 beta 2 there are a couple of other changes as well so let me show you that if you go to the settings and if you click on standby so the standby menu have been updated now it gives you the option to show notification and it also tells you that what this night mode and the standby mode means so the menu have been updated and also talking about the podcast application so if you open it for the first time as you can see there is a splash screen and it says improved playback controls and you know next up new design and connect your subscription and if you click on continue there's a new library icon as well so i don't know whether you use apple podcast for your daily podcast application i don't personally but you know there's uh, some improvement with the podcast application as well now going back to the settings again there are a couple of more changes so let me go to this privacy and security and if i go to this location services and if i go down and if i go to the system services so there is this new option which says micro location so i'm not sure what exactly this does probably this will 
probably more accurately detect your location and things like that so that thing has been added in the location services if i go to now this accessibility and if i go to this touch and if i go to this haptic touch so previously it was fast and slow but now default has been added so there are now three options fast default and slow if you want to try out each and every option you can just click on this picture and it will give you the glimpse how this fast and default and slow feels like so depending on the comfort of your you can you know choose between fast default and slow so these are all the changes i could notice within the settings application these were minor changes but i was able to notice that within the settings application so apart from that there are no new wallpapers nothing changed so as i mentioned before the phone felt like a bit choppy once i updated but you know it's been one hour since i have updated the device but now the device feels actually fine and also i have talked about some of the new changes that i have noticed with ios 17 beta 2 now if you are also interested about the geekbench 5 score i've just ran the geekbench 5 scores so the single core score came in about 1106 and the multi core score came in about 2621 which is more or less same with ios 17 beta 1 so i have that as well so if i go back here and you can see that with iOS 17 beta 1, the scores were little or more or less similar with iOS 17 beta 2. So there again, with the help of this video, I just wanted to update that we have received iOS 17 beta 2. Now, if you ask me whether you should update to iOS 17 beta 2, yes or no, I would say if you have already updated to iOS 17, then definitely beta 2, it brings in new features and also it fixes some of the few issues that people have been you know, facing. If you want to take a look at the what issues have been fixed and what are the new features, you can actually go to this feedback application and can take a look at the release notes. It will talk about all the issues that have been fixed and also it will say what are the uh, things they have introduced new with this iOS 17 beta 2. So it's a long list you can go through. So in that way, in detail, you would get to know about iOS and iPadOS 17 beta 2 release what are the new and what are the issues that have been fixed so with the help of this video i just wanted to highlight that you know ios 17 beta 2 have been released and you know i like this new update page let me know your thoughts in the comment section below whether you like this new kind of update page or not i like it very much so then again that's it for this video let me know your thoughts uh, on this video in the comment section below and let me know also whether you have updated to ios 17 or not and i will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.